What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for a while now, you should know that I have a set of CTS Turbo open box intakes that I'm running on my M4. And I've enjoyed them so far, they've been really good. I am considering going to a front mount intake setup in the future, um, just for the few performance gains and just being an overall cleaner setup in my opinion. But before I did that, I wanted to make sure that I addressed a few points that someone had asked about. I did have a couple people that asked, you know, how is the sound on a set of open box intakes? Is it overpowering? Is it annoying? Um, can you even hear it in the cabin? Can you hear it outside the car? You know, overall, just general sound clips. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today, especially before I change up my setup and possibly go to a front mount intake setup. I wanted to make sure that I did this. So I'm gonna set up a few cameras. Inside the car, outside the car, I'm going to show you guys kind of what it sounds like. I'm going to do the best I can. It's kind of hard to pick up accurate sound clips on a camera versus in person, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to kind of show you guys the setup that I've got right now, but that is going to be what today's video is going to be about. Once again, I thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So here is my current setup. Like I mentioned, I am running the CTS Turbo intakes on the car right now. They utilize the bottom of your old intakes, and then because they actually have a cone versus a flat filter, the lid does not go on top, so they're meant to be just an open box intake setup. But this is kind of what I was referring to, so you can you can kind of understand how when the motor is running, you're obviously going to be pulling in a little bit of warm air from the overall engine bay itself. And then a front mount intake setup for comparison. Basically, it routes this all the way over here, and the intakes actually sit right back here so that you can actually suck up some more cold air directly from the outside of the car when you're driving. So overall, I think I'm going to be able to get some good sound clips for you guys. And I'm going to set up probably a camera on the dash, probably one out here, either on the fenders or right on top of the uh, front of the windshield, because I'm just going to be driving on a few back roads here to give you guys some sound clips. And then uh, we can kind of talk about the results and what you guys think. Now, of course, in here in the Carolinas, the weather decides to change on just last minute. It's not supposed to rain today, but uh, it uh, definitely looks like we may be fighting some rain. So I'm gonna try to get some of these clips and at least get the GoPro exterior videos done before it hopefully starts to rain. Some people like to hear the whoosh. Some people don't. It's just personal preference. But uh, that's why I make these videos, so that you guys can kind of see what to expect. I mean, if this isn't your cup of tea, then you need to make sure you uh, 
you either stick with your OEM intakes and just take out the uh, the charcoal filters, or get you a set of uh, a front mount intakes, like I'll probably end up doing. Either way, both great setups. And that whoosh when you let off in third gears. Mint. Sounds great. I love it. I tell you, S55 gets a lot of crap. I don't, I honestly don't mind it. I feel like, in, the, in just like in the majority of other cases, the majority of the people that are hating on the motor, the sound, the car in general, are usually the ones that don't have one. I tell you, I, I don't feel like I'm the only one, but the S55, it's not as bad as everybody says. Now the exhaust obviously is a little bit raspy, and we all know that. Just, you know, a few little tweaks here and there, some callus down pipes, and either an equal length or a uh, even a um, a uh, single mid pipe. The car doesn't sound half bad, and it's really like high RPMs that it sounds bad. Everywhere else, I don't I don't mind it. <laughs> and then you add in all these other noises and, and things from the intakes and stuff, and this car just ends up being a blast either way. I definitely picked the, the absolute worst time to make this video. This video is literally me accelerating and letting off. Gas price is at $4.20 here in the Carolinas. I picked a, picked a heck of a time to do this video. I should have done this a year ago when gas was under $2. Now again, if you guys are looking for the video that I did of the actual install of these, I'll have that linked up in the top in the cards for you guys to go ahead and click on that. I did a full install and uh, sound clip video with the engine bay open of the CTS intakes. So you guys can click on there if you guys want to see the actual install and it's pretty much similar install for all intakes. Now I am running this in eco mode only because if I put it in support you guys are going to get burbles and I'm trying to get rid of that noise so you guys can actually hear the intake noise. So if you're wondering why I'm in efficient mode. That's why. All right, I should be able to, I'll put it in sport for this pull, but I should be able to get up and go on this one. A little room to open it up. Unfortunately, it feels like no matter where I go, there's traffic, so I can't open it up too much. Shift. Put it down to third. Some burbles. The, uh, the shift from third to fourth, I think, is probably the loudest from the intakes themselves. Alright guys, so since we have <laughs> what looks like a really like a lot of storm clouds coming, this will probably be the last sound clip we'll be able to do for you guys. But I'm gonna do one with the hood open right here in front of the hood, so you guys can actually hear what it sounds like up close and personal. And uh, I'll go ahead and get it set up for you guys.
got a couple angles there knocked out of the way. Now with this storm coming through, I have a feeling that the exterior camera angle is probably going to be a little bit noisy. I'll try to chop it up the best I can. I know that the interior camera angles are probably going to come out a lot better, at least audio wise. And then of course the one with the hood open. I mean, you can't help but hear that obviously. But next, I'm honestly kind of interested to hear what you guys are running on your setups with your S55 motors. Uh, so if you guys can let me know down in the comments, are you guys running you know, your OEM filters, maybe with just the charcoal filters removed, or are you guys running an open box system kind of like I'm doing, or are you guys doing a front mount intake system? You know, have you guys had good luck performance wise with the front mount intake system? You know, any information you guys can provide, I would love to hear from you guys, what your thoughts and preferences are, but that's going to sum it up for today's video. Make sure you guys do go down and subscribe. We do have a lot more track related products that we are going to be adding. I don't want to give any spoilers away, but we do have some track related products that we are going to be adding to the car pretty soon. Other than that, make sure you guys go down and click that like button. Be sure to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. As always, you guys know, I always appreciate you guys tuning in for another episode and I will see you guys in the next one.